So for today's project, I'm gonna be using the virtual machine I created. If you have not seen this video, you'll be able to find it up here in the cards above. It allows me to get a higher quality recording for you guys to learn from. Let's double click to launch it. As you can see, it is booting right from the hard drive. A user had a great question about why do I take time to install it to the hard drive? I do that just so it's easier to explain all the processes like I am today. If you wanted to run your virtual machine off a virtual USB drive, you could as well. This is Puppy Linux. If you look down here at the bottom, you will see the drive icons. Yours may be different, but my SDA1 is the boot. SDA2 has that little home picture. That is where all the files that run the system are saved. What we want, though, is this folder up here that shows you where your applications, documents, and downloads are. You could put your pictures in any of those, but instead, let's right click and make a new directory and call it images and press enter. With that created, I'm gonna close it and let me show you the SD card steps. So we're making this video quickly today because the user said, hey, how do I get my images off the SD card into Puppy Linux and where do I store them? Friends, let me show you. All right, so you need a way to add it to your PC. I bought this awesome card reader they can add. It gives me a couple USB 3s, a USB-C, and the SD reader. I will make sure there is a link to this in the description. Then you can simply plug it in. And after a moment, bingo, it'll be available in Windows. All right, so real quickly, I'm using the virtual machine. So here comes the SD card again. When I press that in, you'll see it connect to Windows. I'm going to close that, though, because I want to open it in the virtual machine. On your puppy Linux machine, it'll look like it does right here when I hit Devices, USB, and I'm going to plug in that SD card reader. You'll see on your puppy Linux machine, without doing all those steps, all of a sudden the USB symbol will pop up with your drive. When you click on that, you'll see that it is opened. This is the eject button. You'll use that in a moment. And then of course we wanna put them back in that folder we created where it says images. I like to have two windows open. Then I can simply grab my images and I can drag them across. It was hard to grab this one. That's why I skipped it. So I'm going to move those images over there and just tell it yes for all the ones that I'm replacing. I'm going to left click drag this one as well, but this time I'm going to choose copy just so you can see how that works as well. Now that we've got the images over here, we can click on these to check them out. Notice this is right here in the viewer. I'm going to show you real quick. If I go to the next one, it doesn't fit. But if we click right here, we can all of a sudden make it so the whole image fits. This one is the fit to window size. So then you can bounce between all the images that you moved over. Of course, I can close that and I will show you real quickly. If you right click, we were just playing with the image viewer, but there are other tools that you can work with already built in to Puppy Linux. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Don't forget you can learn more with the link in the description or with the bit.ly up above. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.